Good morning. It is Saturday and it is a beautiful day to be outside, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. And we're driving, we're going, we're heading out, we're doing the things. It's a beautiful, sunny Florida day. And there's a lot of traffic on I-4, but it's, that's to be expected, I guess. Hello, everybody. Welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the Girl, and today, you all are spending the day with me today. Now, look, you always spend the day with me, right? Anytime I turn on the camera, you're essentially spending the day with me. But this is going to be kind of more of a vlog-style sort of thing. We did this a little bit ago when um, I had friends come over to the house and we went to the grocery store. Y'all spent the day with me. Well, this is a thing that we're going to do. Spending the day with me, aka I have no plans for today and I'm just filming along the way and it is what it is. It's going to be a hodgepodge of different things that we are doing today on this beautiful Saturday. Now. We are starting off today at Typhoon Lagoon, Disney's Typhoon Lagoon, because it is absolutely gorgeous out. I have been wanting to lay out in the sun and enjoy the water for the longest dang time, but it's been, the weather hasn't been that great. It's been cold, you know, we're still in the springtime here, but it's finally getting warm enough and it's nice and sunny out today and it is time, dang it. I am so excited for this. I wanted to do this last week, but my allergies were so bad, I didn't feel up to it. So today we are doing it, we are making it happen, and I'm taking you all along with me. So we're going to enjoy our time here. I'm going to show you what I brought along with me too, a nice little what's in my bag sort of thing as well. And um, then we're going to take it from there. I've got some ideas of what we can do afterwards too, so stick around for that. And yeah. Thank you all so much for clicking on the video. I really, really hope that you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's go. I can already hear the sounds of Typhoon Lagoon and we're only in the parking lot too. I'm so excited. I haven't been back to Typhoon Lagoon in many, many months because you know, winter time. But yeah, I'm I'm excited and it doesn't look too busy today either. I'm, I'm a little shocked by that. It's a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny, Florida day, but hey, not complaining, not complaining at all. Another thing that I'm not sure I've ever mentioned before in all of the times that I've been to Typhoon Lagoon, you don't have to pay for parking here, which is actually pretty awesome. I hope Disney isn't listening to this, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You don't have to pay for parking here at Typhoon Lagoon. And for those of you who are curious, I have an annual pass to Disney. I think that's pretty obvious. And one of the things that you can do is add on a sports package, which I did. And that includes, for an extra $100, it includes all, all access pass basically to the water parks, which is awesome. Don't have to make a reservation, don't have to do anything. It's just all included. And also the mini golf and the golfing and all of that good stuff, which look, we got to do, we got to do that at some point. So going to make that a goal coming up here is to actually do the, the golfing as well. But yeah, so that's what I have. So got to take advantage of it while we can. It's actually a great deal because like one day, like a one day pass here is like $75 or something like that. So you, all you have to do is go twice and you made up for it. And we've made it to my go-to spot here at Typhoon Lagoon. It's a little bit of a hike all the way to the back of the park, but it is totally worth it. Even on like really, really busy days, I usually find somewhere around here that, you know, you can set up camp and there's not like a thousand people around you. Plenty and plenty and plenty of seating back in here today. So we're gonna have the place more or less to ourselves. So let me show you some of the stuff that I brought with me. Some of this stuff is like go-to items that I always bring with me when I go to the beach, the water park, whatever it may be, uh, as well as some stuff that I'm trying out for the first time today. And I'm really excited about it. First of all though, pretty much set up camp, got my beach towels all nicely laid out here. And I brought two bags with me. So in this tote bag here, 
has some of my kind of more essentials and like things that I want to keep a little bit more discreet, like my wallet. <laughs> uh, I've got, I brought my hat with me. Also, hairbrush, hand sanitizer, a fan, always helpful, and some Clorox wipes because you never know. And I also brought for entertainment my Sudoku book, which I've very much been enjoying. I love Sudoku. And then I also have a tinier bag with me. So a bag within a bag. And this has a bunch of like my smaller items in here. So there's some makeup. There is like my deodorant. I've got makeup wipes for later to wipe my face off. I put my car keys in here. It's kind of always like, where do you put your stuff when you go to the beach, when you go to water parks to like keep it safe and not just be like running around everywhere, like all over your bag. This is the first time that I've carried multiple bags with me for something like this. And I feel a lot more organized, a lot more secure in general. So I think that this is gonna, this is gonna work out well. I've got like my little pill box in here with like Tylenol and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I feel more organized. I feel like I know where everything is now. Um, I don't feel like this is a pro tip or anything earth shattering here, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying this out for the first time and I think it's gonna work out really well. Also the ever important tissues, because my allergies, they're still really, really bad. And then inside of my beach bag, which you all, if you're familiar with the channel, if you've been following the channel, you've seen before. I honestly really need a new one because not that it's falling apart, but it's so like, it's not, it's not a structured bag. So I feel like it's, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just not super, super happy with it. Um, and it hurts. Like the straps are like really thick and they hurt on my, on my shoulders. I don't know. Anyway, we went on a tangent. Let me show you what's in this bag. So first of all, I got a snack which I've been loving these banana chips. If you love bananas, definitely try to find these. And I say try because they're very hard to find. Um, but I brought a snack with me, very important. Also, big old jar of water, which pro tip, you can bring here. You can bring to the water parks here at Disney, jars of water, you can bring food. I think you can bring coolers in here. I've seen people bringing coolers filled with all kinds of food. And honestly, that is the way to do it. Bring your own water, bring your own food for sure, because you're gonna save a lot of money. And um, it's really, really important to stay hydrated here in Florida, especially because it's so warm, um, as well as eat healthy, good foods and not just like a bunch of uh, delicious but sugary and you know not so great snacks because you're gonna be you're you're gonna be feeling that and you're not gonna be feeling very good trust me also I brought my good old um, phone case it's a waterproof phone case that I got and I'm pretty sure I showed on the channel before and it actually works really really well uh, so whenever we go in the lazy river we go in the water I'll be putting the phone in here so I can still film a little bit, but also just so I have my phone with me. Now let me show you the various skincare sunscreen things that I have. So first of all, I want to preface by saying that I like to tan. I'm coming here to get a tan. That is my personal preference. That is not for everybody. I'm not saying that it's even safe. I'm not even saying that you all should do this too. Um, I, but this is, this is what I do. I'm a Florida gal and I like to be in the sun, okay? This is just getting personal preference here. Don't do what I do. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying this is what I do. I get a um, 15 SPF. It's a, uh, it's Australian gold, which I think I've used before in the past, um, but it's basically a spray on sunscreen sort of thing. Um, I like this best because I feel like it works the best for me and like my skin type and when I want to get a tan like I feel like this works the best. Like I said I'm not recommending this to anybody out there. Don't do what I do. This is just what I have okay. 
Additionally, I do have a 30 SPF. This is, I got this specifically for my face. I'm also gonna put this on my tattoos as well, just to give them a little extra SPF. Um, I've never tried this one before. It's Neutrogena Clear Face Oil-Free SPF. So we'll give this a try. I already have sunscreen on my face because I always put sunscreen on my face every single day. If I'm going outside, that's just what I do now. Um, so I should be okay for a little bit, but I will reapply this later on. And this is a new product for me that I've never tried before, but thank goodness it's a thing. I'm looking forward to trying it. It is Sun Bum Scalp and Hair Mist. And there's SPF in here, SPF 30 for the good old scalp. Because when I'm out here, again, trying to get a tan, I'm not like wearing a hat out here. So even though I've, you know, covered my face, covered my body with sunscreen, my scalp isn't getting that sunscreen. Um, so usually, especially on like the first day of the year that I tan and I'm, I know after this, I'm gonna get a sunburn. That's how it goes. It's the first time of the year. It's always like that. Um, my, my scalp gets it the worst because there's no sunscreen on there. And I always end up having a headache for like five days afterwards. And it's just, it's a mess. If you know, I'm sure everyone out there has had a, uh, sunburn on their scalp before it hurts. So how cool, this is a thing. We're gonna try this out. I'm so excited, specifically made for the scalp. And um, yeah, I hope that this, I hope that this works. Also for the aftermath, sun bum cool down. And this has aloe in it and a bunch of other stuff. To be honest, this wasn't the cool down aloe lotion that I was looking for originally. Um, I wanted something else, but I have used this before. And the only reason that I am uh, wasn't excited about getting it is because it's a very small bottle. I'm gonna go through this really quick. I've used it before and that's my number one thing is like, I go through this like crazy and it's not inexpensive, but it was kind of the only option that Target had at that moment. So um, this is what we have for now and it's gonna work. I need you need something for afterwards. So this will this will do the trick It's gonna rub it in I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just guessing here so I got all my sunscreen on which BT doves you should definitely do at least 15 minutes before you head out into the sunshine and once again I did not do that do not do as I do. I absolutely do not recommend it. It is just my bad habits that I'm putting on the uh, on the channel here for y'all and I do apologize. But I'm just being honest with you. This is legitimately how I do it every time. So any anyway, as you can see, we have this whole section to ourselves. It is quiet. They're, pi they're piping in the sea shanties. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna soak up the sun. I am gonna enjoy my Florida life right now and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we have laid down for a little while now and I think it's time to finally get in the water. We're gonna head to my favorite thing, the Lazy River. This is also the first time I've seen it so not busy here that there are plenty of tubes to go around. It's not body to body in there either, which is gonna be really nice. So, all right, gonna put you all in the, in the plastic bag here and away we go. Oh, it's it's not the warmest. It's not the warmest it's ever been. We're gonna grab this tube here though. I have no idea what I'm filming. I can't I can't tell what I'm seeing here. Hopefully y'all are seeing what I'm seeing. Okay, there we go. We got a tube. Lazy River, here we are. <laughs> It is not near warm enough for this. It is not near warm enough for this. Alright, 
have no idea how much of that you heard or what I captured. I have no idea. The bag is great, but it doesn't do all the things and it's hard for me to see through the bag when it's super sunny out, etc., etc. That was so much colder than it should have been. Oh, it's so cold. To be honest, it's a little bit too, cold is not the right word, but it's not warm enough for me. Usually like it's, I think the high is like 77 today. And for me, that's pretty cold. Uh, that's not exactly beach weather for me as a Floridian here who's used to the 80, 90 degree weather and the super humidity. Um, it's a beautiful day today and it is definitely warm in the sun, but in that water, oh, that was cold. That was uncomfortable for me. So we're back at base camp now and uh, gonna enjoy some more time in the warm sun. I feel so far removed where I set up my base camp. I, I forget that there's a whole water park out here, honestly. It's so quiet back there. It's so nice. I'm surprised there's still people here. We've got about two more hours until Typhoon Lagoon closes, so I'm gonna go walk around and enjoy the water a bit more. Over here by these three water slides is a nice like little pool area, so I'm gonna chill over here for a little bit. This is one of my favorite spots to kind of just relax, soak up the sun, but still be like in the water, you know what I mean? Basically enjoying the pool and trying not to think about all of the children who have peed in this pool as well. That's the trick, isn't it? Check out that view. I'm gonna go into that lagoon area next and we're gonna watch the waves come in. So this is the wave pool if you don't know. And by the way, I did do a whole video on Typhoon Lagoon and I went into a lot more detail than what I'm gonna do today. So if you wanna see that, it's out there. But uh, we're in the wave pool now and the waves are starting right now. Let me show you. gonna get a lot more intense at some point. There's gonna be huge, huge waves. Stepped out of the wave pool area to get kind of an aerial look of the, well, this half of the pool. Hopefully the big wave will, will go off soon, but check it out. Here's the Disney Springs balloon over there. It's a pretty cool shot. Closing so early. It's only four o'clock right now, but it closes at five. Stinks. But I mean, there were people here, but it wasn't really that busy. So I guess I get it. When is this big wave gonna come? When is this big wave gonna come? the sea shanties that they play here are the same ones that they play at the Columbia Harbor House across the street from the Haunted Mansion. Just saying, I spent a lot of time listening to those sea shanties. I think they're the same. Anyway, it's about 4.15, 4.30. We're gonna start packing up here and heading on out sadly, but that's okay. We will be back. And another thing that I just realized that's really nice about having two separate bags here I'm gonna be rolling up all of my sweaty, sandy towels here, sticking them in this beach bag, and they're not going to affect my tote bag. So, another added perk. Just have, just bring a bunch of bags. Just bring a bunch of bags. I think that's the answer. Hey, goodbye Typhoon Lagoon. See ya next time. Okay, so basically just skedaddled from Typhoon Lagoon because I wanted to just get out of there before all of the other traffic headed on out, so it worked perfectly. We are in, if you can't tell here, the beautiful garages of Disney Springs. Disney Springs, literally across the street from Typhoon Lagoon. So let's get some Earla Samich. If you know anything about me and this channel, you know we love Earla Samich. We're gonna take every single opportunity we can to go get it. So I parked in the Grapefruit Garage we're gonna walk across the street, get a sandwich. Also, I had a thought last week and I actually put it out there into the internet universe. What if I bought, what if I looked for and I got the most garish, craziest looking Crocs possible here on Disney property and just wore them as my exclusive shoe 
whenever I went to Disney. And the, th- the idea, the thought was so like, it was so, it was such a great idea in my mind for some reason at the time that I was like, let me put this out to the, there to the universe. I put it to a poll on my social medias and a lot of you said, yes, do it, do the thing, get the Crocs. So I think we're going to look for those today. We're going to look at the Crocs. We're going to see what crazy ones they have. Maybe I'll buy them. Maybe I won't. I don't know. It's sort of a joke, but at the same time, I've heard nothing but good things about Crocs, and I am I could always use a comfy shoe. Uh, so I'm not opposed to the idea. I literally am not opposed to the idea. Anyway, we're just going to enjoy our time here at Disney Springs, too. So thanks all for sticking around. I'm just going to continue freshening up here. I've been using my, my cool down gel, and I think one of the reasons, too, why I don't care for this one as much is because there's no, like, minty feeling. You know how some of those aloe gels have, like, sort of that minty, uh, soothing feel to it? This one doesn't have it. So it kind of leaves me feeling a little, a little disappointed with it. I don't feel as, like, ah, like a cool drink of water all over my skin. Um, but it's fine. It's fine nonetheless. It has aloe in there. That's the most important thing um for after after sun skin so okay just gonna finish freshening up and then we'll head out into disney springs so over the bridge now head into disney springs there's the casting center very familiar with that building my mom used to work in there used to visit her all the time and of course that's where i went to get my job initially girl of sandwich i feel like i just vlogged this and it's probably because i just vlogged this that's all right, we're going back. We're getting the sandwich, we're getting the food. I'm so excited. Pearl sandwich. I got my usual, the caprese. This is my absolute favorite. Really the best thing ever in the entire world. The best. When they call it the world's greatest sandwich, they are not joking. Oh my gosh, so good. I love Earl's Sandwich. I literally inhaled that entire thing in like five minutes, like no joke. So good. If I could eat that for the rest of my life, I'd be set. Well done, Will Earl's Sandwich. Keep on sandwiching. Anyway, now that I'm full of sandwich, what's, uh, let's, let's try to find some Crocs. Let's try to find some Crocs. I suppose Haunted Mansion ones would be very appropriate for me. Oh man, these, I'm very sorry if I offend anybody, and if you own these, these are not my jam. I am not immediately thinking of the Haunted Mansion when I see these. I don't know if I can make myself, <laughs> this may have been a bad, bad idea, I don't know if I can make myself buy these and wear these. It wasn't exactly the, the quote unquote garish that I was looking for per se, and I don't want to, I don't want to condone Disney here. I don't. I don't like the way that they're going with their haunted mansion stuff, like this bright, colorful stuff. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan. This is okay, but like, I'm not the biggest fan of of like the cartoony aspect of it all. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna encourage Disney and buy these. No, we're not doing it. We were looking at some of the stuff with our pals Chad and Vanessa from Two Tickets to Adventure when we met up with them at Disney Springs, and I didn't feel much because honestly, I just wanted to hang out with them and enjoy their company while they were here. I didn't explain that in that video, but that's that's why, and I totally should have. Anyway, look how cute some of this stuff is. Look at this Mickey Mouse Chipwich ice cream sandwich. It's adorable and is making me definitely, we're definitely getting dessert. We're definitely getting dessert. So I don't know why I presented myself for this challenge because seriously, I don't want to wear. I don't want to wear these. Uh, also, I did want to look at the price. Seventy dollars. So that's something to consider as well. I know Crocs aren't inexpensive, but uh, that's. That, I guess that's probably what we're dealing with. These are just. I'm sorry. Once again, if you own these, I apologize. If you think they're adorable, if you like them, this is no shade on you. I swear to goodness, it's just to me and my preference. These are the ugliest things I've ever seen in my freaking life. I, I, this is garish. This is garish. I don't know. Once again, I don't know if I can wear these, but these, 
these are probably gonna take the cake, no pun intended, for the just the craziest pair of Crocs that we can find today. Oh boy. Look at the, look, there's like there's food all over it. And I'm sorry, but I'm not a foodie person, so like I don't, I don't, I don't need to be staring at like churros and burgers and stuff on my shoes all day. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know. I sometimes feel like Disney tries to make the ugliest stuff possible because they know that like people will buy it. But I feel like sometimes they're just trolling people and being like, let's make it as ugly as possible and people are gonna buy it. Like we know people are gonna buy it. It's also kind of funny and very telling. Now granted, we've only been in like two stores-ish. We've only seen two pairs of Crocs, but the only two pairs of Crocs that we've seen so far have been horrendous. We haven't even seen normal Crocs. These are horrendous. And so are the Haunted Mansion ones. I'm sorry, I just, I, I really can't. I guess it's kind of sad when I would consider buying those food Crocs over the Haunted Mansion ones any day of the week. That's, that's how hard I have a stance on that stuff. Anyway, we're going into World of Disney. Let's see what we can find. All right, these ones are for children, but they do have ones for adults and it's got stitch all over them. These are acceptable, these are fine. I really like this jean jacket. Now, if you know me, if you know the channel, I, I love a good jean jacket. Not gonna lie, this one's, it's pretty cute. I think, I think I like it. I'm not gonna buy it, but it is pretty cute. Okay, I think these are, yeah, these are Croc sandals, which is, it would probably be a cop out for what, you know, I said I was gonna do. Oh, I'd look, I didn't make any promises, okay? Y'all can't hold me to this. I just, I just posed the idea. Anyway, um, cro or sandals, croc sandals would be nice. And these are cute. They're Minnie Mouse. They got Minnie Mouse all over them. I bet these are super, super comfy too. They're even a little bit cheaper. So definitely something to consider. That I would actually wear and would be happy wearing no problem. I like that some of the 90s stuff is coming back because look at this shirt. This is definitely a very 90s thing. This, it, it's totally bringing me back to that decade. I almost want to buy it just for that reason. I don't know if they have adult ones. I haven't seen any, but there's these neon green ones. Got all the characters on them. They're super, super cute. I think these might just be for the kiddos though. Okay, here's a few more. Ooh, frozen ones. No, thank you. And not just because it's frozen, but there's a lot of white on there. These are gonna get so stinking, so stinking dirty. Also, no, 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 we're not doing, we're not doing that. Here's some blue ones. These got Mickey Mouse on them. And another pair of sandals here with all the characters on there. That's pretty cute, very, very classic. $40 for these ones. But these ones over here, which are pretty cool. These are probably the coolest ones out of them all. Like legitimately, no no lie, because it has all four all four parks are represented. Now again, it's white. I'm never, I'm sorry, I'm never gonna buy a white shoe. Like there's no, there's no possible way. But these are, these are awesome. These are the best ones so far, for sure. So we got these standard Crocs over here, white and black with the little Mickeys on them. And they are, well, they sure, they sure are Crocs, aren't they? Someday this section will be Halloween stuff and I sure can't wait for that. I think that my, I think we might have found all the Crocs. I could be wrong, but I, I don't see any other ones. Just notice these Starbucks cups on the way out and they got one for each of the parks. There's Epcot, there's the Magic Kingdom, and the studios down there. And look at Animal Kingdom, it's got a Carnotaurus on it. That is so cute. These are probably really expensive because they're Starbucks cups, but this might be a good one to grab because unfortunately, this guy here is gonna be extinct at some point. Literally don't have a price anywhere. Tempted to just grab it because, again, like this is, this is unfortunately not gonna be a thing anymore. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I figured why not. It was $45 and then I got my annual pass discount so it was $35. So not too bad for a Starbucks cup and I, I really legitimately needed a new cup or I wanted a new cup I guess I should say. So that'll be a nice little, little homage to Dino Land. Also popped into Anthropology, and I'm gonna grab some things. I'll show you what I get in just a sec here but check this out. 
this lemon cardigan sweater. I might need this. This is amazing. I wish it wasn't $130. All right, I'm gonna crouch awkwardly down on the side of the ground here and, and just show you really quick. It's nothing like super spectacular, but I did get, uh, technically I think it's an undergarment, a bra, but uh, it could also be a crop top too. I saw this the last time I went to anthropology and I've been thinking about it ever since because it is so stinking soft. And I think that this is gonna be great with the bodysuit that I just got from uh, blush, which I showed in a previous vlog, and I think that that will uh, think this will be good underneath that because I need something to wear underneath it. And then the other thing I got, this was on sale. It was already on clearance, and then 50% uh, off of that too. So major score. This is another shirt that I saw last time I was in anthropology, and look at the bottom here of the shirt. I thought that that was so cute last time. I almost got it, but I didn't. I'm so glad I didn't because this was only like $8, so awesome. We did good. Okay, I'm inside of Free People now, and I don't usually shop here. It's, it's a bit above my, my pay grade in here, but I was just looking at this, this choker, this necklace here, which is really cute, and I was totally gonna get it because I was like, how much could it be? $10? Almost 40 freaking dollars for this. You can make this. You can go to a craft store right now and make this and it would not be hard. It's literally strings of cord tied in a bow and they want $38 for it. I think I'm just gonna leave the store. <laughs> Buying another store for some Crocs. Oh, these are cute bags. Never seen those before. Anyway, yeah, looking for some more Crocs. Looking for the Crocs. Those aren't Crocs. These are the only ones I see in here, dang it. We already saw these. Again, these are probably the best ones out of them all, like legitimately. Just wish to the heck they weren't white. Some more Crocs in there in the corner, but they're all the ones that we saw before too. I swear there are more Crocs than this on property. I feel like the different parks probably have their own, question mark? I don't know. I, I This may not be something that we solve today, to be honest with you. We may not be solving this today. This may be an ongoing project. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna get a cookie from the summer house. So when I was here with Chad and Vanessa the last time, as I said, we went here and I didn't get anything at the time, but they got some cookies and oh my gosh, they look delicious. This is over here on the west side. Splitsville is right over there, the west side of uh, Disney Springs. This is new. <laughs> Like the last time I was here, I was like, oh my gosh, this is open. It's 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 new. There's something here. So to me, it's new. I don't know. It's probably been open for a while. Anyway, we're going to go inside. We're going to go get some cookies and I might get a coffee too. Here's a look behind the scenes at the, all the cookies that we have here. I'll show you up front too, but they look amazing. Definitely going to give Gideons a run for their money, I think. And they sell La Cologne com uh, coffee here too. So heck yes, I'm all about it front side of the cookies. I think I'm gonna go with the chocolate chip and the peanut butter right at the end here. Here we go. Ashley went with a ginger snap and a chocolate chip cookie and getting a cold brew. We got the goods. The cold brew is hitting the spot. It's hitting all the spots, Ashley. I love La Cologne coffee. It's one of my absolute favorites. Fell in love with it in Pennsylvania where it actually originally began and I went to the original La Cologne coffee house that's a whole other story we went on a tangent anyway cold brew is great i got the cookies in the bag here too and we'll try them out in just a sec this has been such a great day i knew it would be i knew it would be it always is when the weather's nice you ever notice that it's always a good day when the weather's nice it's the ginger snap one I'm not gonna eat them all. Save some for Tampa Jay. This is so stinking good. I'm gonna be dreaming about this. I know it. It's you can totally taste the ginger in there. It's spicy. Oh my gosh, that is good, and it's so good with coffee. So glad I got the coffee. Wow. That is excellent. So here is the chocolate chip one. 
you always can tell like how good a, comp a cookie company is based on their chocolate chip cookie. Personally, I've never really met a chocolate chip cookie that I didn't like unless it had like peanuts or walnuts in it. Dang, that is good. I don't know if it's as good as Gideon's. I think Gideon's is better, but it's still excellent. So good. I'm excited to try the rest of the cookies at Summer House. We're gonna have to do that sometime for sure. Every time we come back, we'll have to we'll have to watch to try a different cookie. I'll tell you what is better than Gideon's though. The fact that it's accessible. It's freaking accessible. You don't have to like do a virtual queue or wait in a super super long line or whatever it may be. You just walk right in and I did have to wait in line, but it wasn't a long line get your cookies so there you go that alone gives summer house uh extra 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 points okay almost to the car and i was gonna end it but then i remembered hold on y'all are hanging out with me all day so video is not over if there's still plenty of daylight out now granted we're heading back to the car we're gonna head home got a beagle to walk and take care of and such and I got a lot of cleaning to do when I get home too, because my parents stayed the night, and um, so I got to rearrange everything and whatnot, which I'm very thankful for, by the way. I'm very glad that they, I got to spend some more time with them yesterday. Um, anyways, we got a lot to do tonight, and y'all are spending the whole day with me, so we'll keep filming. Seriously, such a great day though today. Another day where I'm so very, very blessed and privileged to be able to be a pass holder and be able to do this sort of thing. So, never want to take that for granted. All right, let's head back in the car. Let's head home. Okay, we've made it back home. Taking Miss Bella on a walk now. I talk about Bella a decent amount on the channel. And sometimes I talk about things and I just assume that everyone knows what I'm talking about because you all have been watching, but... I know sometimes I do get, <laughs> sometimes I get new viewers. So in case you didn't know, Bella is our beagle. And I'm not gonna show too terribly much else tonight. Um, I'll show you a few things. I wanna assess the sunburn that I have right now. Inevitably, I'm sure I have a sunburn. Although I don't feel too bad, but I'm just assuming that I do. Um, and yeah, I don't know. We'll do a few things, but it's not gonna be super crazy. Cause honestly, this is, this is the boring part. There's a reason why I usually like turn off the camera uh, when I'm done doing the interesting parts because the rest of it is like really boring. But this does sort of like give you a bit of a glimpse into um, what a usual day is like for me. And I know that we, we do videos, we do more videos like that lately. We do the vlogs and such. Um, and that's what this is, but uh, today has been more or less start to finish. Um, you didn't see my morning, but that was truly not spectacular. Just getting ready and heading out the door. I walked the dogs, as you saw earlier too, um, but that was really it. Um, but yeah, like Jay is out of town this weekend. And so it's just me tonight with Bella. Um, and like I said, my parents stayed over last night, so I'm just going to be washing sheets and just doing a little wipe down of like the bathroom and stuff like that and um, getting all of that, I guess, taken care of. Um, and then obviously we're walking, we're walking this one right now. Did something bite you? Get a mosquito bite? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Um, gotta walk Bella, gotta clean, gotta get my stuff together, gotta take a shower because I sweated all day, gotta do a bunch of stuff, and then edit this video, and then get it ready to put out for tomorrow, you know, upload it, I gotta pick a thumbnail, I gotta do all the things. So, this kind of gives you a better insight, actually, into my my life i guess um because this is this is how it goes like i spent all day out and about 
filming and all of that good stuff, but there's the normal adult responsibilities to do at home too when all of that is over. But on top of that, this video is not over because one, we're still filming, and two, we gotta edit it. So these nights can be very, very long. Very, very long. Um, but it's fine. That's uh, all part of the all part of the gig, I guess. Now let me know if, what kind of person you are because like all of this here, here's my bags from today and then my poichesses that we made today as well. And then obviously my coffee and my water and my, my purse here and, and all of that stuff. Would you unpack all of this right now tonight or would you save this for another day? Because there's some items in here that I don't necessarily need tonight. I could leave it here and just deal with it another time, but I'm not that kind of person. I can't sit down and like relax and, and edit and stuff like that until I clean. I get all of the things like put away and settled. I gotta take my shower. I gotta like, like get to like, I gotta take care of stuff. I gotta take care of all of it. And then I can sit down, relax and or edit the video, et cetera, et cetera. Like that's the kind of person I am. Let me know down in the comments below what you would do. So I'm trying on the stuff that I got from Anthropology. I have the undergarment on and then the cool, like, I don't, I'm not really sure what this is. I, I'm gonna use it as a top personally, but I, I don't know. But I think this part here is like really, really cool everything is super comfortable and it fits well and again we're looking for pieces for for the summertime y'all we're looking for for dark fashion to get us through the summertime so this is definitely going to work out very very well i think this is really really cool and then yeah you can see i definitely got i got a lot of sun i'm red i definitely got sunburned here there you go you can see well truth be told this is the after sun lotion that i prefer hands down this is like the best one i've ever used and it sucks because it's if anything it's like even smaller than the the sun bum one actually it's 0.7 fluid ounces more than the sun bum but still very small bottle and if I'm not mistaken, from what I recall, I got this like last year sometime, but I think this was actually more expensive than the Sun Bomb on top of that. So that blows, <laughs> but holy moly, does this feel good. It has that mint extract in there and you can feel it. Like that is the cooling effect that I wanted to feel on my skin. And it's very lightweight too. Like this stuff is fine. This is usually what I get, some sort of aloe vera lotion. And this is great, this stuff works great. Um, but it is kind of heavy. It makes me feel really oily and greasy. This doesn't. This is like really, really, really good stuff. So I don't know. I gotta say, I am super excited to use this. I'm so glad I got it. It is so cool. I love the sparkly green color. I love that I can say, I can see and say hello to my Carnotaurus every day. This is a really cool cup. I'm glad I got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a wash and then start, start using it. By the way, yes, I do have the Simpsons on in the background. I always throw it on when Jay's not here to have something playing in the background, right? Bella, she's a little anxious. She, she, doesn't, she doesn't know what's going on. She misses Jay, she misses my parents, she misses Daisy, and she probably wants a T-R-E-A-T, -E if I had to guess. You can see how red my back is. Or maybe you can't, I don't know. I just finished editing pretty much this entire video except for this, the outro right now. It's about almost 11 o'clock. That clock is wrong. It's about 11 o'clock. And I'm going to finish this video. And then I'm going to bed because I'm exhausted. 
Um, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope, um, I'm so glad that you all are enjoying the vlogs and the more like casual videos because these are seriously the most fun ones to do for me. Um, and I'm just, I'm really glad that you're enjoying them. Um, also another good thing about going on a different tangent here. Um, also another good thing about editing the video and then doing the outro, I can also wrap up some things here. We'll continue the croc journey here as time goes on. I want to check all four parks. I want to check all four parks. We're going to check on the crocs in all four parks because I just, I just have a feeling that they're going to have different ones in each of the parks. So I want to test that theory and then we'll go from there. But again, no promises. I'm not saying I'm going to be buying some Crocs for sure, but we, we're, just, we're just looking. We're just, we're just looking, okay? So that was one thing that I wanted to touch on. The other thing I wanted to touch on is the hair, the hairspray that I showed you all with the SPF. I think it worked pretty darn good because I normally would absolutely, like, you would be able to tell that this would be, like, bright red. Um, and it's not, but it does feel, my head does feel a little, um, uh, sensitive. So, but I think that's kind of more user error than anything. I think it works pretty well. I'm not like, I think, I think it's better than not doing anything at all is what I'm trying to say. But I think after more uses of it, I'll have a better opinion and a better review than what I have for you right now. But I wanted to touch on that, on that too. I don't feel super sore on my head like I usually do. So that's a plus. Okay, that's it. This is a long video. I apologize. Thank you if you made it this far. Thank you if you watched it. I really, really, really appreciate it. You all are amazing. And um, you make this whole entire thing just so awesome and just such a joy and I just appreciate every single one of you for being a part of the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's it, I'm exhausted and we're rambling. <laughs> thank you again for watching. Got so many adventures coming up as I always say and we'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye everybody, look at that. I'm waving in the, in the camera, in the corner there. This is so weird. So weird. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. I gotta go to bed. See you later.